Hi, Toby. So please indicate if you can hear me. Well, thank you very much once again, Simpiwe. Apologies. We got running into technical difficulties here. The network is really, really bad. I hope you can hear me in studio. Well, we're now with the representative from the church where we were. Fra Abi, please come and join us on SABC News Channel. Uh, we've arrived at the scene here. We see you still active. Tell us a bit more what happened here in the early hours of this morning. Yes. In the early hours of this morning, around the uh, past one, uh, what I can tell you really is that our church, I can see, came in large numbers, armed to the teeth with guns, different types of guns, the uh, rifles, shotguns, AK-47, some were even holding hand grenades. They came in and as they approached the main gate, they started shooting. And uh, we also, simultaneously, we had gunshots inside only to realize they use the back gate, some use the back, back gate to get inside. So they started shooting and they held our people inside, hostage. And there are families there, uh, mothers, children inside there. They have been trapped inside, they held them hostage, and then we ran for cover, we called the police. When the police came, they confiscated the guns from those guys who were outside, and then they arrested them. So the ones inside, like I said, they held people hostage there, and then the police uh, asked for, uh, I mean, uh, asked for, 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 for other people to join them. What do you call it? Uh, the backup. backup. Yeah. They called backup, and then the helicopter also came to check inside. And now, as we as we speak now, the task team got inside. Yeah. They are inside, and then uh, to try and manage the situation inside. Just for the sake of our viewers, maybe you can give us a rundown. What exactly is the bone of contention here? We hear you saying that there's, there were hostages, there were people. Why were people storming the church first and foremost? Yes. Uh, what, where does this stem from? What is the whole background around what happened last yes. night? This actually emanates from the splinter group. There's a splinter group actually that occupied our church at, at Austral. It's called Zilbe, I mean, it's called uh, Jerusalem. This one is called Silo de Hekotas. From Jerusalem that came in here. So the intention, clearly, threats of them coming, wanting to take over the headquarters. So clearly they wanted to come and uh, do a hostile takeover of the headquarters. Why, why? Why is that? Where does that stem from in itself? Yeah. Why? Where, no, why is there a splinter group? Yes, the 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 comforter, the old the, the of the church, passed on, and then upon his demise, uh, the, 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 there was a leadership that ensued. And uh, as we speak, that leadership battle is before court. It's almost five years now. We have been looking for a for a set down that we have a date and then this matter is resolved by court because it's, it's a legal battle it's a, a, a legal case that is before court so what happened is uh, uh, these guys cannot really wait for the for the outcome of the court they are so impatient they came here uh, that group is led by Michael Sandlana who claims also to be a son of the comforter who was never known to be the son of the lifetime but he claims he claims to be one and then he took over that church he is their leader that side so they want to come and like do a hostile takeover and occupy this now speak to us we heard that yeah in fact just behind the tape there five fatalities those from your current church police came they literally chased us away from the scene so I can't really categorically say who was shot. But we are unable, I'm unable to identify them because the police does not allow us anywhere nearer to the scene. With regards to the arrests that are currently made, we saw the cars moving out. Yes. Are those part yes. of the people that you're speaking about? That's it was full of those guys came in. So the police, as they confiscated the guns from them, they held them and then they took them, they arrested them. Those cars, those buckies that you saw, as it was, were taking them to the police station. It's the very people who came in.
moment as it happened, what was it like with the gunshots going on? Man, it was... Look, imagine the place was just peaceful. There are a few uh, guards, security guards, who are manning the gate, the main gate. Everything was peaceful. All of a sudden, these cars flocked in, came in. in they, these guys came in big numbers and they just, you know, as they embarked, they just started shooting. So it was, you couldn't even, you know, you couldn't even stand it. It was just random shooting. Just shooting, shooting, wanted to, to scare us from, so that we get out and they, they go inside. Mm. Yes. Let's wrap up quickly. As we stand here, do we know whether the situation has been sorted out, has it been resolved, or is the situation still live and active? It is still live because we don't, like I say, we, we, we don't really, we are not privy to what is happening inside because we can't go inside. But from the look of things, the, the task force that went inside, they are still inside now. So outside, as you can see, is calm because they have been arrested. They, those people have been arrested, they moved them now to the nearest police station. But inside, we don't know exactly what is happening, but there are no two things like I say, but the task force is inside with those guys. Look, these guys are all out to, to kill. It was an attempt on my life in April. You can, I can show you pictures of my car, 11 bullets. I was caught by one, uh, it broke my arm. This arm was operated. So they are all out. And they are doing this, this the same modus operandi they used here. They used at our Cape Town uh, uh, branch. Because we have a mountain that we hold our pilgrimage there, every June and September. So last year, June. We left, uh, drove back in, 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 and they stormed as they did here, and they injured people, and the one, they, they beat one to death. Yes. Rahil, we thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. Well, Simpi, we're going to have to wrap a chat as you heard. The scene is still active. As I look above me, there's a drone currently overhead, Simpi. I'm assuming that is taking pictures. And as you heard, the scene, we don't have confirmation, but it could still be active inside the church. And hopefully, as I said, we'll get to the bottom of it. There's great activity here, if I can call it that. You can see behind me as uh, one of the South African National Defense Force vehicles, which just came to drop off some soldiers behind camera is leaving making its way out there's a bit of commotion all commotion there's movement behind camera as well i think as police try to sort out what is happening down here but we'll keep our viewers updated on exactly what is happening here out on the western area on the far west of johannesburg but for now i'll hand matters back to you in studio well, Toby, so thank you so much uh, for, for your time and for giving us that update uh, with regards to that developing story. Uh, the news just in a church hostage drama has left five people dead and uh, 30 more others uh, arrested at the IPCC church in Zubakom here in Houting.